The leg pad can be placed on the lower leg below the knee or hock or on the upper forearm or gaskin. Thoroughly wet the skin and the area to be treated. Wet the nylon liner only where the electrodes are located. Place gel over each electrode. Position the center of the pad on the back of the leg for flexor tendon and suspensory ligament therapy. Position the center of the pad on the front of the leg for extensor tendon therapy. For edema therapy, place the majority of the electrodes directly over the swelling. Attach the cable first to the leg pad and then attach the cable to the system. Set the time and amplitude. A typical treatment time is 20 minutes for each leg. It is advisable to treat both legs even if only one leg is injured. To remove the leg pad, disconnect the quick release connections first from the pad and then from the system. Remove the leg pad. Then remove the gel from the leg with a dry towel. When charging the battery, turn the system off. The battery cannot be overcharged, however, it is advisable not to leave the charger plugged in longer than 12 hours. The suggestions contained in this instructional DVD are based on general conditions and may or may not be directly applicable to your situation. Almost all horses accept the sensation of the stimulus in a relaxed manner. However, care must be taken that each horse is introduced to the stimulus slowly and carefully to avoid startling the horse when the contractions begin. Young horses, any horse that has not been handled much, or horses in pain can be more hesitant to relax during the treatments. Please feel free to contact the company with any questions you may have concerning your use of the FES 310 system. Thank you for selecting the FES 310 system produced by Equinu LLC.